Good morning, everybody. Uh, I have people ask me to do maintenance videos, so today we're going to do a maintenance video. We uh, blew the hydraulic lows the other day on, uh, it's been more than the other day, but right here on the other side. And uh, I figure this one's probably not that long for this world either. So we are going to replace this line with a new line. So, uh, yeah, we'll get going on it here and uh, show you how to replace a hydraulic hose. Okay, first thing that you do, climb in the cab, put your lock arm down, turn your key on, arm your auxiliary, and then come over here and work your control that will bleed the pressure off of your line. Very important you do that. If you don't and you break a line loose when it has pressure on it, you can get uh, a face full of uh, hydraulic oil and actually can harm yourself. So that also works for putting attachments on. I see a lot of people wanting to know how you can get the, how you get couplers together because the pressure is so so built up in it and uh, that's the same process you do to relieve pressure to put an attachment on so okay let's get to uh, changing the hose all right be sure you've got yourself a metric adjustable wrench so any adjustable wrench is a metric or a standard So we got our pig mats down, got our, uh, uh, there it goes, catch pan there because you're going to lose oil. It's going to drain everything that is uh, uphill of this, and probably then some. I also got to replace a coupler. I've been having some problems with this coupler. And, huh. Yeah, there's going to be some. Where'd my rags go? Cool. It's not leaking out nearly as much as I expected. I see a lot of questions also on the uh, Kubota groups of what the part number of these hoses are. I actually buy it at my uh, local logger supply. Oregon California Supply is usually where I get my uh, hoses made in my local area. So I had them make this up for me. And, uh, but even my local dealership, I've had them make hoses too. They do a good job. They don't have these hoses in stock on the shelf. They custom make them also. So not really, I'm sure there is a part number for them, but you're a lot cheaper to just have them custom made at either your hydraulic shop or uh, even your local dealer should be able to uh, custom make them for you. All right. Not getting much on the pig mats here, so I'll put my pig mat over here. So I get this loose. And it drips like it's going to do. Don't get it in my gravel. Oops, let's see. I'll 
probably keep that hose in my toolbox. Oh, wind's blowing everything away. Get this started so it doesn't drip any more than bit on. That's why I had a pig mat. There. Anyways, I will probably keep my uh, old hose just as a spare. These, these hoses right here are generally the first ones to go. They do the most twisting, these and the thumb line. going to have some resistance on it, so you got to hold it just right to get those to thread. Right. Try to get them tightened down where they're away from the boom a little bit. That way they're not sitting there rubbing. I always put this, have them put that sheathing stuff on to help protect the hose. It works pretty good. Spring stuff works pretty good too, but. Oops. I snug them right down. I mean, they're. Don't want to over tighten them. And I can't really tell you how hard I'm pushing on it, but snug them right down. So that's that's replacing the hose. So now I'm going to replace the not with a crescent wrench. I'm not or a uh, adjustable wrench. I have to get a. Uh, Oh, yeah, I guess I am. That's a, oh, there is an opening in there. Oops. Yeah, that thing has been problematic for a while. Grab my other one, it's in my truck. Probably should replace the little O-ring there. Oh, no. Well. That's not gonna work. So I guess we're putting the old one back on until I can get one that will fit the thread or get an adapter to make that new one work. So now you know how to replace these. Pretty simple. These don't have to be stupid tight where they're, uh, they have the O-rings in there. Well, I'm snug, but there we go. Okay, back with the old. Okay, I had a viewer say that the schmoo on the back of my boom annoyed him. So we're going to clean the schmoo. Hit that again a little more. I use a 
just cheap mineral spirits. It evaporates when you're uh, done. Cuts grease very well. It's inexpensive. I'd say that what I like about it is it evaporates and doesn't seem to hurt paint. There was some bird schmoo right there. I guess we could call the uh, mineral spirits schmoo be gone. Quick wipe down. With the dry one, that schmoo's not coming off. There. Maybe schmoo not be gone, but it's a lot less. Okay. So back to doing important stuff. All right, well, that was a quick little video on how to replace the uh, uh, hydraulic hose and how to uh, bleed your power pressure off of uh, your auxiliary lines. So, well, pretty simple, pretty quick. And uh, everyone, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, hit that like button, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Check my website out, reberpuredirt.com. We got hats and uh, pen defenders and all kinds of goodies on there. So. Everyone, have a wonderful day, and we will catch you on the next one.